Mahatma Gandhi and the National Movement Mahatma Gandhi and the National Nationalist Movement Civil Disobedience Movement and beyond In the history of nationalism a single individual is often identified with the making of a nation thus for example we associate garibaldi with the making of italy george washington with the american war of independence and ho chi minh with the struggle of to free vietnam from colonial rule in the same manner mahatma gandhi has been regarded as the father of the indian nation in so far as the gandhi ji was the most influential and revered of the all the leaders who participated in the freedom struggle that characteristic characterization is not misplaced however like george washington or ho chi minh mahatma gandhi's political career was shaped and constrained by the society in which he lived for individuals even great ones are made by the history uh, even as they make history this chapter analyzes mahatma gandhi's activities in the india during the crucial period of 1815 to 1848 its explores is interactions with the different section of the indian society and the popular struggle that he inspired the led it introduced the indi students to the different kinds of sources that historians used to reconstruct the career of a leader and the social movements that he was associated with 1950 because 9 january 1950 mahatma gandhi came from uh, south africa in india that why 9 january is uh, marked as the nri day this is a picture where were people gathering on the bank of river sabarmati to hear mahatma gandhi speech before the starting out the salt march uh, civil disobedience movement in 1930 uh, after salt march gandhi started civil disobedience movement a leader announces himself in january 1950 mohan gandhi returned to his homeland after two decades of residence abroad these years had been spent for the most part in the south africa where he went as lawyer and in time became a leader of the indian community in that territory as the historians chandra devshan he has remarked south africa was the making of the mahatma it was in uh, mahatma ki upadhi mahatma gandhi ko ravindranath tagore ne di thi it was in south africa that mahatma gandhi he is forged the distinctive techniques of non violent protest known as satyagraha first <coughs> first promoted harmony between religious and first alerted upper caste indians to great discriminatory treatment of lower caste and women the india that mahatma gandhi came back to in, in 1915 was rather different from one that he had left in 1893 all through still a colony of the british it was far more active in the political sense the indian national congress now had branches in most major cities and town all through the swadeshi movement of 1905 to 1907 it was greatly broadened it appeal among the middle class that movement had thrown up some touring leaders among them bal gangadhar tilak of mahatma gandhi maharashtra bipin chandrapal of bengal lala lajpat rai of punjab and three were known as lal bal pal the alliteration conveying the all india character of their struggle since their native provinces were very distinct from one another where these leaders advocated militant opposition to colonial rule there was a group of moderates who preferred a more gradual and persuasive approach among these moderates was mahatma gandhi acknowledged political mentor 
गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले एज वेल एज मोहम्मद अली जी नाहू लाइक महात्मा गांधी जी वॉज अ लॉयर ऑफ गुजराती एक्सट्रैक्शन ट्रेंड इन लंडन ऑन गोखलेज एडवाइज महात्मा गांधी स्पेंड अयर ट्रैवलिंग अराउंड ब्रिटिश इंडिया गेटिंग टू गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले नोन एज पॉलिटिकल गुरु ऑफ महात्मा गांधी पॉलिटिकल टीचर ऑफ महात्मा गांधी and on his advice uh, first year he just knowing about india so he travel uh, or around india uh, that time india is known as british india because india is controlled by britishers getting to know the land and its peoples his first major public appearance was at opening of the banaras hindu university bhu in the february 1916 among the invitees to This is the image of Mahatma Gandhi in Johannesburg, South Africa, which is captured on February nineteen zero eight. These events were the princes and the philanthropist. Philanthropist who do donate uh, rich people who donate is also known as philanthropist, who uh, whose donation had contribute to the founding of the BHU. Also present were important leaders of the Congress, such as Annie Besant. Compared to this. dignitaries mahatma gandhi was relatively unknown he had been invited on accounts of his work in south africa rather than his status within india when his return came to speak gandhi ji charged the indian elite with a lack of concern from for the laboring poor the opening of the bhu he said was certainly a most glorious show but he worried about the contrast between the richy bked nominals present and the millions of po- poor <coughs> indians who were absent mahatma gandhi told the privileged invitee is that there is no salvation for indian unless you strip yourself this jewelry and hold it in trust for your countrymen in india there can no spirit of self government about us he went on if we take away or allow others to take away from the peasants almost the whole of the results of their labors our salvation can only come through the farmers neither than lawyers nor the doctors nor the rich landlords are going to secure it the opening of bhu ward is an occasion for celebration making as it did the opening of nationalist university sustained by the indian money and indian initiative but rather than adopt a tone of self congratulation gandhi ji chose instead to remind those presence of the peasants and workers who constituted a majority of the indian population yet were unrepresented in the audience gandhi ji's speech at banaras in february 1916 was at one level merely at the statement of fact namely that indian nationalism was an elite phenomena a creation of lawyer and doctors and landlords but at another level it was also a statement of intent the first public announcement of gandhi ji's own desire to make indian nationalism more properly mahatma gandhi in march 1916 karachi this is a picture of mahatma gandhi in march 1916 in karachi representative of indian people as a whole in the last month of that year gandhi ji was presented with an opportunity to his precept into practice at the annual congress held in the lucknow in december 1916 he was approached by a peasants from champaran in bihar who told him about the harsh treatment of peasants uh, by british in indigo plantation तीन कटिया पद तीन कटिया पद्धति बेयर बीस बीस कट्ठा में से तीन कट्ठा पे इंडिको ही बोना अब पड़ता था उस टाइम में तो उसी के खिलाफ चंपारण मूवमेंट चलाई गई थी 1970 में द मेकिंग एंड द अनमेकिंग ऑफ नॉन कॉपरेशन 
Mahatma Gandhi was to spend much of 1970 in Champaran seeking to obtain from peasant security of tenure as well as the freedom to cultivate the crops of their choice. The following year 1980 Mahatma Gandhi was involved in the two campaigns in his home state of Gujarat. First he is involved uh, in a labor dispute in Ahmedabad mill dispute known as demanding better working condition for the textile mill workers. Then he joined peasants in the Kheda, Kheda which is known as Kheda Satyagra. Kheda in asking the statement for a remission of taxes following the failure of their harvest. The initiatives in Champaran, Ahmedabad and the Kheda mark Gandhiji out as a nationalist with a deep sympathy for the poor. At the same time, these were all localized struggles. Then in 1999, the co 1919, the colonial rulers delivered into Gandhiji's lap an issue from which he could construct a much wider movement. During the Great War of 1914-1918 First World War, the Britishers has instituted censorship of press and permitted detention without the trial. Now on the recommendation of the community chair by Sir Sidney Rollett, these tough measures were continued in response. Gandhiji is called for a countrywide campaign against the Rollett Act. The town across North and West India life came to stand still as the shops shut down and school closed in response to the Band call. The protests were securely intense in the Punjab where many men had served on the British side in the war expecting to be rewarded for their service. Instead, they were given the Rollett Act. Gandhiji was detained while proceeding to the Punjab even as proclaimant local congressmen were arrested. The situation in the province grew progressively more tense, reaching a bloody climax in the Amritsar in uh, April 1999. Basically, uh, in the Great War, World War I between 1914 to 1918, Britishers give uh, Upadhi of uh, uh, Hind, uh, Kesare Hind to Mahatma Gandhi for sending the uh, soldiers of uh, in, India to Britain for fighting in war. But uh, what uh, he got, uh, the uh, bloody climax in the Amritsar, uh, in April 13 April 1990 when uh, due to this uh, Mahatma Gandhi ne apna uh, jo kisre hind ka upadhi hai wo tyag diya when a british brigadier order his troops to open fire on the nationalist meeting more then 400 people were killed in uh, that is known as jallianwala bag maskare uh, which is in Amritsar near the Golden Temple. It was the Rollet Satyagra that made Mahatma Gandhi a truly nationalist, national leader, emboldened by its success. Gandhiji called for a campaign of non-cooperative in 1920 uh, with the British rule. Indians who wished colonialism to end uh, were asked to stop attending school, colleges and law courts and not pay taxes. In some, they were asked to adhere to a reunification of all voluntary association with the British government. If non-cooperative was effectively carried out, said Mahatma Gandhi, India would win Swaraj within a year. To further broaden the struggle, he had joined hands with the Khilafat movement that sought to restore the Caliphant, a symbol of pan-Islamic which had recently been abolished by Turkey, Lural, Khaman, Atra. Basically, uh, in after First World War, uh, I mean, World War I, uh, Britain partnership with uh, uh, Turkey and said to all Muslims that he abolished the uh, Bibhajan, the Bibhajan of Turkey. But after the World War, he 
उन्होंने टर्की को बांट दिया तोड़ दिया टुकड़ों में जिसकी वजह से खिलाफत मूवमेंट स्टार्ट हुआ नाइटिंग नाइटिंग अ पॉपुलर मूवमेंट गांधी जीज होप दैट बाय क्यूपलिंग नॉन कॉपरेशन विद खिलाफत इंडिया टू मेजर रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी हिंदू एंड मुस्लिम कुड कलेक्टिवली ब्रिंग एन एंड टू कॉलोनियल रूल दिस मूवमेंट्स एंड सॉरी these movements certainly unleashed a surge of popular action that was altogether unprecedented in colonial india students stop going to schools and colleges run by the government basically british government <coughs> lawyer refused to attend court the working class went on strike in many towns and cities according to official figures there were 396 strikes in 1921 involving 6 lakh workers and a loss of 7 million work days the country side was sitting with the discontent to hill tribes in the northern andhras violated the forest law farmers in avadh did not pay taxes peasants in kumau refuses to carry loads for the colonial officials these protest movements were sometimes carried out in the defiance of the local nationalist leadership peasants workers and the other interpreted and acted upon the call to non corporate with the colonial rule it was ways that best suited their interest rather than inform to the decay dictates laid down from above non cooperation wrote mahatma gandhi's american biographer louis fischer became the name of epoch in the life of india and of mahatma gandhi ji the non cooperation was negative enough to be peaceful but positive enough to be effective it entailed denied renunciation and self discipline it was trained for what was the khilafat movement uh, the khilafat movement started between 1990 to 1920 was a movement of indian muslim led by the mohammad ali and shaukat ali that demanded the following the turkish sultan or khilafa must retain control over the muslim sacred places in the eastern while ottoman empire after first world war ottoman empire breaks uh, the zirwat uh, ul arab arabian syria iraq palestine must remain under muslim sovereignty and khilafa must be left with the sufficient territory to enable him to defend the islamic faith the congress supporter tied the movement and mahatma gandhi sought to conjoin it to the non cooperative non cooperation movement it was the training for self rule as consequences of non cooperation movement the british raj was shaken to its foundation for the first time since the revolt of 1857 then in the february 1920 a group of peasants attacked and torched a police station in the helmand of chora chori today uttar pradesh in the united province now uttar pradesh and uttaranchal uh, uttarakhand uh, uttaranchal name changes to uttarakhand several constables appreciated in the conflagration and this act of violence promoted gandhi ji to call off the movement altogether basically if gandhi ji don't called off this movement british start killing the freedom fighters of india that's why he can do it uh, to call off this movement no pro, uh, provocation a he insisted can possibly justify the brutal murder of men who had been rendered defenseless and who had virtually thrown themselves on the mercy of the mob during the non cooperation movement thousands of indian were put in the jail gandhi ji himself was arrested in the march 1922 and charged with the sedition the judge who presided over his trial justice c n brumfield made a remarkable speech while pronouncing his sentence 
it would be impossible to ignore the fact remarked the judge that you are in a different category from any person i have ever tried or am likely to try i would be impossible to ignore the fact that in the eyes of millions of your countrymen you are a great patriot and a leader even those who differ from you in politics look upon you as a man of high ideas ideals and even and of even sanitary life since gandhi ji has violated the law it was obligatory for the bench to sentence him to 6 years imprisonment but said judge brumfield if the course of event in india would make it possible for the government to reduce the period and release you no one with the be better pleased than i a, a people's leader in by 1922 gandhi ji has transformed indian nationalism thereby redeeming the promise he made in his bhu speech of february 1916 it was no longer a movement of professionals and intellectuals now the hundreds and thousands of peasants workers artisans also participated in it many of them venerated gandhi ji's referring to him as their mahatma they appreciated the fact that he dressed like him lived like them and spoke their languages and like other <coughs> leaders he did not stand apart from the common folk but empathized and even identified with them the identification was strikingly reflected in his dress while other nationalist leader dressed formally wearing a western suit or an indian bang gala gandhi ji went among the peoples in simple dhoti or cloin cloth my meanwhile he spent part of each day working on the charkha spinning wheel and encouraged other nationalists to do likewise the act of spinning allowed gandhi ji to break the boundaries and prevail within the traditional caste system between mental labor and manual labor <coughs> In a fascinating study the historian Shahid Amin has traced the image of Mahatma Gandhi among the peasants of eastern Uttar Pradesh as conveyed by the reports and rumors in the local press when he traveled through the region in February 1921 Gandhi ji was received by adoring crowds everywhere image of mahatma gandhi with uh, charkha mahatma gandhi uh, mahatma gandhi was profoundly critical of the modern age in which machines enslaved humans and displaced laborers he saw the charkha as a symbol of the human society that would not glorify machines and technology the spinning wheel moreover could provide the poor with the supplementary income and make them self reliant when i object to in the craze of the machinery as such the craze is for what they called labor saving machineries men go on saving laborers till thousands are without work and thrown on the open street to die for starvation i want to save time and labor not for a fraction of mankind but for all i want to consent creation of wealth not in the hands of few but in the hands of all khadar does not seek to destroy all machineries but it does regulate its use and check its vd growth it use machineries for the service of the poorest in their own cottage the wheel is itself an excuse type excuse side piece of machinery This is how a Hindi newspaper in Gorakhpur reported the atmosphere during his speech at Bhitni 
Gandhi ji's address the local people and then the train started from Gorakhpur there were not less than 15000 to 20000 people at Nukhar Dhiura Ghori Bazar Chaura Chauri and Kumshi station Gandhi ji was very pleased to witness the scene at Kumhi as despite the fact that the Gandhi ji is in the middle of a jungle there were not less than 10000 people here some overcome with their love were seen to be crying at Dhiura people wanted to give bent which is called donation to mahatma gandhi but he asked them to give this at gurakpur but at chora chori one mawari gentleman managed to hand over something to him then there was no stopping a street was spread and currency notes and coins started draining it was a sight outside the gurakpur station the mahatma gandhi was stood on a high carriage and the people had a good darshans of him for a couple of minutes whenever wherever mahatma gandhi ji went rumors spreaded of his miraculous power in some places it was said that he had been spent by the king to redress the grievances of the farmers and that he had the powers to overrule all the local officials in other words it was claimed that mahatma gandhi's power was superior to that of english monarch and that with his arrival the colonial rulers would flee the district there were also stories reporting dire consequences for those who opposed him rumors spread of how villagers who criticized gandhi ji found their houses mysteriously falling apart of their crops falling known as variously as gandhi baba gandhi ji maharaj or simply mahatma gandhi ji appeared to the indian peasants as a savior who would rescue them from high taxes and oppressive officials and restore dignity autonomy to their life gandhi ji's appeal among the poor and peasants in particular and enhanced by his ascetic lifestyle <coughs> and by the screwed use of symbols such as dhoti and the charkha mahatma gandhi was uh, was by the caste a merchant and by profession a lawyer but his simple lifestyle and love of making working and his hands allow him to emphasize more fully with the laboring poor and for them in turn to emphasize with him where most other politicians talked down to them gandhi ji appeared not just to look like them but to understand them and relate to their lives while mahatma gandhi's must appeal of undoubtedly genuine and in the context of indian politics without precedent it must also be stressed and his success in the broadening the basis of nationalism was based on careful organization new branches of the congress were set up in the various parts of india a series of praja mandals were established to promote the nationalist creed in the princely states gandhi ji encouraged the communication of the nationalist message in the mother tongue rather than in the language of the rulers english thus the provincial community of the congress were based on the linguistic religions rather than on the artificial boundaries of the british india in these different ways nationalism was taken to the farthest corner of the country and embraced by the social groups previously untouched by it by now among the supporters of the congress were some very prosperous businessmen and industrialist indian entrepreneur were quickly to recognize that in a free india the favors enjoyed by the british competitors would come to an end some of these entrepreneurs such as g d birla supported the national movement openly other did so stacked thrust among gandhi ji's admirers 
were both poor peasants and rich industrialists all through the reasons why peasants followed mahatma gandhi were somewhat different from and perhaps opposed to the reason of the industrialist while mahatma gandhi's own role was vital the growth of what we might call gandhian nationalism also depend to a very substantial extent on his followers between 1917 and 1922 a group of highly talented indians attacked themselves to mahatma gandhi ji attached themselves to mahatma gandhi ji they included mahadev desai वल्लभ भाई पटेल जे बी कृपलानी सुभाष चंद्र बोस अबुल कलाम आजाद जवाहरलाल नेहरू सरोजनी नायडू गोविंद वल्लभ पंत एंड सी राजा गोपालचारी नोटेबली दीज क्लोज एसोसिएट्स ऑफ महात्मा गांधी जी केम फ्रॉम डिफरेंट रीजन्स एज वेल एज डिफरेंट रिलीजियस ट्रेडिशंस इन टर्न दे इंस्पायर काउंटलेस other indians to join the congress and work for it mahatma gandhi was released from the prison in the february 1924 and now chooses to devote his attention to promote or promotion of home sump cloth khadi तो बोल रहे थे कि कल में वीडियो कॉल करके पूरा दिखाए और बोल रहे थे कि क्या काम करवाए हो इतने दिन में यहाँ का बाकी है वो दो दरवाजा और खिड़की तो दरवाजा खिड़की वो कॉलेज लास्ट में तो रोज बच्चा का कौन सा कॉलेज लास्ट में आधा टाइम का परसों दे नहीं तो खाली एगो एगो कथी कह बाथरूम में तो नहीं खाए खाली घुमा के कोर बना कर दुअरिया पर नहीं कौन भर गए बस हो जाए एक बार से पाँच बजे टाइम है ना खत्म तो बच्चा वो गलत काम कर रहा है तो पूरा है ना तो वो इन उनका ना बच्चा में इस तरीके का फोन बाय तब कल ना इल्ट को आते लगान करा दो फिर एक बार ना इल्ट तो बन करा दो तो यही लोग तो कहने तो तू अंदर तो ये तो कर दे इगो के लिए अभी अनसाइन तो सीमेंट तो पूरा खत्म करवाए के पड़ी नहीं तो पाँच दिन में भी खराब हो सका था तो कहा कि ठंडी ज्यादा पड़ा था अभी ने रोड़ा रोड़ा है क्या ऐसा नहीं करा था तो वो तो भी तुम करवाए पड़ी जल्दी तो वो इसने आपको ऐसा ही ऐसा नहीं करा कहीं बहस के बाद अलाउंट लॉकर में वाला काम जोड़ो <laughs> बेवकूफ बा तहनी के मैटर बा हम का थी बोल सकते नहीं
and the abolish of untouchability for gandhi ji was as much a social reformer as he was a politician he believed that in order to be worthy of freedom indians had to get rid of social evils such as child marriage and, and untouchabilities indians one of faith has also to cultivate a genuine tolerance for indians of another hence it emphasizes on hindu muslim harmony meanwhile on the economic front indians had to learn to become self reliant hence his stress on the significance of wearing khadi rather than mill made cloth imported from overseas the salt satyagraha a case study for several years after the non cooperation movement ended mahatma gandhi focus on his social reform work in 1928 however he began to think of re-entering politics that year there was an all india campaign in opposition to the all white simon commission sent from england to inquire into condition in the colony gandhi ji did not himself participate in this movement all through he gave it his blessings as he was did to peasants satyagraha in the bardoli in the same year in the end of december 1929 the congress held its annual session in the city of lahore the meeting was significant for two things the election of jawahar lal nehru as president signifying the passing of the baton of leadership to the younger generation and the proclamation of a commitment to the purna swaraj on the complete independence uh, of purna swaraj also known as complete independence now the peace of politics picked upon once more on the 26 january 1930 independence day was observed while the national flag been hoisted in different venues and patriotic song being sung mahatma gandhi himself <coughs> mahatma gandhi himself issue precious instructions as to how the day should be observed it was it would be good he said if the declaration of independence is made by whole village whole city even it would be well if the meetings were held at identical meeting minute in all the places gandhi ji suggested that the time of the meeting be advertised in the traditional way by the beating of drums the celebrations would begin with the hoisting of national flag the rest of the day would be spent in doing some constructive work rather in this in uh, whether it is spinning or the service of untouchables or reunion union of hindu and muslims or provisions pro, uh, prohibition work or even all this together which is not possible participants would take a pledge affirming that it was the alienable right of the indian peoples as of any other people to have freedom and to enjoy fruits of their toils and that if the any government deprives a people these rights and oppressive oppresses them the people have a further right to alter it or abolish it dandi soon after the observance of this independence day mahatma gandhi announces that he would lead a march to break one of the most widely disliked law in the british india which gave the state a monopoly in the manufacture and the sale of salt his speaking on the salt monopoly was another illustration of the gandhi is tactical wisdom for in the every indian household salt was the indis 
पेंसेबल येट पीपल्स वर फॉरविडन फॉर मेकिंग सॉल्ट इवन फॉर डोमेस्टिक यूज कंपाइलिंग देम टू बाय इट फ्रॉम द शॉप एट अ हाई प्राइस द स्टेट मोनोपोली ओवर सॉल्ट वॉज डीपली अनपॉपुलर बाय मेकिंग इट हिज टारगेट गांधी जी होप टू मोबिलाइज अ वाइडर डिसकॉन्टेंट अगेंस्ट ब्रिटिश रूल फोटो ऑफ महात्मा गांधी ऑन द डांडी मार्च इन मार्च 1930, वे आर मोस्ट इंडियन अंडरस्टूड द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ गांधी जीज चैलेंज द ब्रिटिश राज अपेरेंटली डिड नॉट ऑल थ्रू गांधी जी हैड गिव एडवाइज नोटिस ऑफ हिज सॉल्ट मार्च टू द वॉइस रॉय लॉर्ड इरविन Irwin failed to grasp the significance of the action on 12 March 1930 Gandhi ji began walking from his ashram at Sabarmati towards the ocean he reached his destination 3 weeks later making a fistful of salt as he did not thereby making himself a criminal in the eyes of law meanwhile parallel salt marches were began conducted in other parts of the country photo of mahatma gandhi satyagrahis picking up the natural salt at the end of the danti march in 6 april 1930 why the salt satyagrah why was this why was salt the symbol of protest this is what mahatma gandhi wrote the volume of information being gained daily show how weekly wickedly uh, the salt tax has been designed in order to prevent the use of salt that has not paid the taxes which is at times even 14 times its value the government destroys the salt it could not sell profitably thrust its taxes and the nation vital necessity it prevents the public from manufacturing it and destroy what nature manufactures without effort no ad adjective is strong enough for ca- characterizing this wicked dog in the manager policy from various sources i heard tales of such wanted destruction of the nation properly in all parts of india mounds if not tons of salts are said to be destroyed on kokan coast the same tales came from the dandi wherever there is livelihood of natural salt being taken away by the peoples of living in the neighborhood of such areas for their personal use salt officer are posted for the sole purpose of carrying on destruction thus valuable national property is destroyed at national expense and salt taken out of the mouths of the people the salt monopoly is thus a fourfold curse it deprive it, it deprives the people of a valuable easy village industry involve wanton destruction of the property that nature produces in the abundance the destruction itself means more national expenditure and forthfully to the crown this folly an unheard of the tax of more than 1000% is extracted from a starving people this saw this this tax has remained so long because of empathy of the general public now that it is significantly rosed the tax has to go how soon it will be abolished demand upon the strengthen the people the collected work of mahatma gandhi volume 1914 tomorrow we shall break the salt law on 5 april 1930 mahatma gandhi spoke at danti when i left sabarmati with my companions from the seaside hellet of danti i was not certain in my mind that we would be allowed to reach this place even while i was at sabarmati there was a rumor that i might be arrested 
I had thought that the government might perhaps at me my party come as far as Dandi, but not me. Certainly, if someone sees that this betrays imperfect faith on my part, I shall not deny the charge that I have reached here it is in no small measure due to the power of peace and non-violence that power is universally felt the government may it if it wishes congratulate itself on the acting as it has done for it could have arrested every one of us in saying that it did not have the courage to arrest this army of peace be praise it it felt ashamed to arrest such an army he is a civilized man who feels ashamed to be doing which his neighboring would disapproved the government deserved to be congratulated on what on not arresting us even if it deconsisted desisted only from fear of world opinion tomorrow we shall break the salt law whether the government will tolerate that it is a different question it may not tolerate it but it deserves congratulation on the patience and for billions it has displayed in regards to this party what if i and all the eminent leader in the gujarat and in the rest of the country are arrested this moment is based on the faith that when a whole nation is roused and on the march no leader is necessary as the non corporation apart from the officials sanctioned nationalist campaign there were numerous other streams of protest across large part of india peasants breached the hated colonial forest rule that kept them and their cattle out of the woods in which they had once roamed free freely in some towns factory workers went on strike while lawyers boycotted british court and students refused to attend government run education institute as in 1920 to 1922 now to mahatma gandhi call had encouraged indians of all caste classes to make manifest their own discontent with the colonial rule the rulers responded by detaining the disenchanted decentered decenter, in the wake of the salt march nearly 60000 indians were arrested among them of the course gandhi ji himself the progress of gandhi ji's march to shishore can be traced from the secret reports filed by the police official disputed to monitor his movements these reproduce the speeches he gave at the village and routine in which he called upon local officials to renounce government employment and join the freedom struggle in one village vasna gandhi ji told the upper caste that if you are out for swaraj you must have serve untouchables you will not get swaraj merely by the repeal of the salt taxes or other taxes for swaraj you must make amend for the wrongs which you did not to be untouchables for swaraj hindu muslim parsi and sikhs will have to unite these are the steps towards swaraj the police spies reported that gandhi ji's meeting were very well attended by the villagers of all caste and by women as well as men they observed that thousands of volunteers were flocking to the nationalist cause among them 
were many officials who has resigned from their post with the colonial government writing to the government the district superintendent of police remarked mr gandhi appeared calm and collected he is gathering more strength as he proceeded the process of salt march can also be traced from another source the american news magazine time this to be begin with the scorned at gandhi ji's look writing this disdain of his spined frame and his spiderly loins thrus in its first report on the march time was deeply spectacle of the salt march reaching its destination it claimed that gandhi ji sank to the ground it at the end of the second day walking the magazine did not believe that the emaciated sons would be physically able to go much further but within a week it was changed its mind the massive popular following that the march had grenade road time had made the british rulers desperately anxious gandhi ji himself they now this is a picture of mahatma gandhi after release from the prison in the january 1921 congress leaders came to meet him at the ilabad and planning for future action saluted as a saint and statesman who was using christian act as a weapon against the men with the christian beliefs dialogues the salt march was notably for at least three reasons first it was this event that first brought mahatma gandhi ji to world attention the march was widely covered by the europeans and american press secondly it was the first nationalist activity in which women participated in large numbers socialist activist kamla devi chatopadhyay had persuaded gandhi ji not to restrict the protest to men only kamla devi was herself one of the numerous women who courted arrested by the breaking the salt law or liquor law third the per- and third and perhaps most significant it was the salt march which forced upon the british the realization that their raj would not forever and that they would have to devolve some power to the indians <coughs> to that end the british government convened a series of round table conferences in london the first meeting was held in november 1930 but without the preeminent political leader in india thrust rendering it is it an exercise in the futility gandhi ji was realized from the jail in january 1931 and the following month had several long meetings with the viceroy this culminated in what was called the gandhi irwin pact by the term which civil disobedience would be called of all prisoners are released and the salt manufacture allow along the coast the pact was criticized by the radical nationalist for gandhi ji was unable to obtain from the viceroy a community to political independence for indians he could obtain merely an assurance of talk towards that possible end the second round table conference was held in london in the latter part of 1931 here gandhi ji represented the congress however his claims that his party represented all of india came under challenge from three parties from the muslim league which claimed to stand for the interest of muslim minorities from the princely state who claimed that the congress had no stake in their territories and from the brilliant lawyers and thinkers b r ambedkar who argue that gandhi ji and congress did not really represent the lower caste 
the conference in london was inconclusive so gandhi ji returned to india and resummoned civil disobedience the new viceroy lord willingdon was deeply unsympathetic to the indian leader in a private letter to his sister a uh, willingler road it is a beautiful world if it were uh, it wasn't for gandhi at the bottom of every move he makes which he always says in inspired by god one discovers the political maneuver i see american press is saying what a wonderful man he is but the fact is that we live in midst of very unpractical mythical and superstitious folk who look upon gandhi as something holy it is a photo of a second round table conference of mahatma gandhi in london november 1931 In 1935 however a new government of India act promised some form of representative government two years later in an action held on the basis of restricted franchise the congress won a comprehensive victory now eight out of 11 provinces had congress prime minister working under supervision of british government in september 1939 two years after the congress ministries assumed office the second world war broke out mahatma gandhi and jawahar lal nehru had both been strongly critical of hitler and the nazis according uh, accordingly they promised congress supporters to the war efforts if the british in return promised to grant india independence once host- hostilities ended this is a photo of mahatma gandhi with the rajinder prasad in the way of meeting uh, the viceroy lord linithgo on 13 november 1939 the offer was refused in protest the congress minister resigned on october 1939 through 1940 and 1941 the congress organized a series of individual satyagraha to pressure the rulers to promise freedom once the war had ended meanwhile in the march 1940 the muslim league passed a resolution demanding a measure of autonomy for the muslim majority areas of subcontinent the political landscape was now becoming complicated it was no longer indian versus the british rather it had become a three way struggle between the congress the muslims league and the british at this time britain had a, an all party government whose labor party were sympathetic to indian aspiration but whose convers uh, conservative prime minister uh, two party system uh, two party uh, in britain uh, labor party and conservative party that time conservative prime minister winston churchill was a die hard imperialist who instituted uh, instead that he not been appointed the king first minister in order to preside over the liquidation of the british empire in the spring of 1940 churchill was persuaded to send one of his ministers sir stamford cripps to india to try and forge a compromise with gandhi and the congress talk broken out however after the congress instead Insist, uh, insist, uh, insisted that if it was to help the british defend india from the axis power then the viceroy had first to appoint an indian as defense member of his executive council this is a photo of mahatma gandhi with the stanford creeps on march 1942 quit india after the failure of crisp mission mahatma gandhi uh, decided to launch his third major movement against british rule this was the quit india 
campaign which began in August 1942 all through Gandhi ji was jailed at once younger activists organized the strikes and act of sabotage all over the country particularly active in underground resistance where socialist member of the congress such as jayaprakash narayan in several districts such as satara in the west and the madinipur in east independent government were proclaimed the british responded with much forcefully yet it took more than a year to suppress the rebellions quit india movement genuinely a mass movement bringing into its ambient hundreds and thousands of ordinary indians it especially in a and Ener- energized the younger who in the in very large numbers left their colleges to go to jail however while the congress leaders languished in jail jinnah and his colleagues in the muslim league worked patiently at expanding their influence it was in this year that the league began to make a mark in the punjab and sindh provinces where it had previously had a securely any presence in june 1944 with the end of war in sight gandhi ji was relieved from prison later that day uh, this is the picture of women uh, procession in the bombay during the quit india movement uh, before quit uh, uh, after quit india movement uh, in uh, which is began in august 1942 uh, satyagraha in 1940 Three from the late 19th century, a non-Brahmins movement which opposed the caste system and landlordism had developed in Maharashtra. This movement established link with the national movement by the 1930. In 1943, some of the younger leaders in the Satara district of Maharashtra set up a parallel government, Prapti Sarkar, with voluntary crops, Seva Dal. and village unity to fan dal they ran people's court and organized constructive work dominated by kumbhi peasants and the supported by dalits and sataras prati sarkar functioned till the election of 1946 despite the government repression and the later stages congress disapproval he held a series of meeting with jina seeking to bridge the gap between the congress and the league in 1945 a labor government came to power in the britain and committed itself to granting independence to india meanwhile back in india the voice royal lord wevel brought the congress and league together for a series of talk early in 1946 fresh elections were held to provincial legislatures the congress swept the general category but the seat specifically reserved for muslims the league won an overwhelming majority the political polarization was completed a cabinet mission sent in the summer of 1946 failed to get the congress and the league to the agree on the federal system that would keep india together while allowing the provinces a degree of autonomy after the talk broken out jinnah called for a direct action day to press the league's demand for pakistan on the designated day 16 august 1946 bloody riots broken out in calcutta the violence spread to rural bengal then to bihar and then across the country to the united province and the punjab in some places hindu muslims were main suffered in other places hindus in February 1947 Wevel was replaced as viceroy by the Lord Mountbatten Mountbatten called one last round of talk but when these two proved inconclusive he announced that British India would be freed but also divided the formal transfer of power was fixed for 15 August when that day came it was celebrated with ghosts in different parts of india in delhi there was prolonged applause 
when the president of constituent assembly began the meeting by invoking the father of nation mohandas karamchand gandhi outside the assembly the crowds shouted mahatma gandhi ki jai this is the picture of mahatma gandhi with sardar vallabhbhai patel and jawahar lal nehru jawahar lal nehru sardar vallabhbhai patel the last his, uh, heroic days as it happened mahatma gandhi was not present the fest festivities in the capital of 15 august 1947 he was in calcutta but he did not attend any function or hosted a flag there either mahatma gandhi remarked the day with a 24 hour fast the freedom he had struggled so long for had come at an unexpected and acceptable price with a nation divided the hindu and muslim at each other throats through september and october writes his biography dg tendulkar gandhi ji went round uh, hospitals and refugees camp giving a consolation to distressed people he appealed to the sikhs and the hindus and the muslim to forget the past and not dwell on their sufferings but to extend the right hands of fellowship to each other and to determine to live in peace at the initiative of gandhi ji the nehru the congress now passed the resolution on the right of minorities the party had never accepted the two nation theory force again it will to accept partition it still believe that india is a land of many religion and many races and must remain so whatever be the situation in pakistan india would be democratic secular state where all the citizens enjoy full rights and are equally entitled to the protection of the state irrespective of the religion to which they belong the congress wish to assure the minorities in india that it will continue to protect to the best to its ability their citizens right against aggression many so uh, scholars have written of months after the independence as being gandhi ji's finest hour after working to bring peace to bengal gandhi ji now shifted to delhi from where he hoped to move on to the right district uh, rio turn district of punjab while in the capital his meeting were uh, disrupted by refugees who objected to reading from the quran or shouted a slogan asking why he did not speak of the suffering of those hindus and sikhs still living in pakistan in fact as dg tendulkar writes mahatma gandhi was equally concerned with the suffering of the minority community in pakistan he would linked liked to be able to go to the score but with this is the picture of rotorn village in 1947 <coughs> Mahatma Gandhi what face could he now go there when he could not guarantee full redress to the muslims in delhi there was an attempt on mahatma gandhi's life on 20 january 1948 but he carried out undaunted on 26 january he spoke at his prayer meeting of how that day had been celebrated in the past as independence day now freedom had come but its first few months had been deeply disillus illusioning however in trusted that the worst is over that indian would hence forth work collectively for the equal of all classes and creed never the domination of domination and superiority of the major community over a minor however insignificantly it may be in number of influence he also permitted himself the hope through that through uh, geographically and politically india is divided into two at hearts we shall ever be friends and brothers helping and respecting one another and be for the out uh, out 
outside world gandhi ji had fought a life long battle for a free and united india and yet when the country was divided he urged that the two parts respect and befriend one another other indians were less for giving at his daily prayer meeting on evening of 30 january gandhi ji was shot dead by a young man the assassin who surrendered afterwards was a brahman from pune named nathuram godse the editor of an extremist hindu newspaper who had denounced gandhi ji as a a piercer of muslim gandhi ji's death led to an extraordinary outpouring of grief which rich tributes being paid to him from across the political spectrum in india and moving appreciation coming from such international figures as george orwell and albert einstein time magazine which had once mocked gandhi ji's physical size and seemingly non rational ideas now compared his martyrdom to that of abraham lincoln it was a bigoted american who had killed lincoln for believing that human beings were equal regardless of their uh, race or skin color and it was bill goated hindu who had killed gandhi ji for believing that friendship was possible indeed necessary between indians of their faith in this respect as time wrote the world knew that it had in a sense too deep too simple for the world to understand convened at this at his gandhi ji's death as it had convened at lincoln's death of mahatma gandhi a popular spirit picture of death of mahatma gandhi a popular spirit knowing gandhi there are many different kind of sources from which we can reconstruct the political career of gandhi ji and the history of the nationalist movement public voices private scripts one important source is is the writing the speeches speeches of mahatma gandhi and his contemporaries including both his associates and his political advisories within these writings we need to distinguish between those that were meant for the public and those that were not speeches for instance allow us to hear the public voices of an individual while private letters give us glimpses of his or her private thoughts in letter we see people expressing their anger and the pain their dismay and anxiety their hopes and frustrations in the way in which they may not express themselves in the public settlements but we must remember that this private public distinction often break down many letters are written to individuals and are therefore personals but they are also meant for the public the language of the letter is often shaped by the awareness that they may one day be published conversely the fear that a letter may get into print often prevent people from expressing their opinion freely in public personal letters mahatma gandhi regularly published in his general harijan letters that others wrote to him nehru edited a collection of letters written by him during the national movement and published a bunch of old letters source 7 one event through letter in the 1920 jawaharlal nehru was increasingly influenced by socialism and he returned from the europe in 1928 deeply impressed with the soviet union as he began working closely with the socialist jayaprakash narayan narayan dev ng ranga and the others a rift developed between the socialist and the conservatives within the congress after becoming the congress president in 1936 nehru spoke passionately against fascism 
and upheld the demands of workers and peasants worried by the nehru's socialist rhetoric and conservatives led by the rajinder prasad and sardar vallabhai patel threatened to resign from the working committee and some prominent industrialist in the bombay issue a statement attacking nehru both prasad and nehru turned to gandhi ji turned to mahatma gandhi and met him at his ashram at vadra the latter acted as the mediator as he often did restraining nehru's radicalism and persuading prasad and others to see the significance of the nehru's leadership a bunch of old letters in 1958 nehru reprinted many of letters that were exchanged at that time read the extract in the following pages from a bunch of letter my dear jawahar lal ji since we party uh, parted yesterday we have had a long conversation with the mahatma ji and a prolonged consultation among ourselves we stand that you fair have felt much hurt by the course of action taken by us and particularly the tone of our letter has caused you much pain it was never our intention either to embarrass you or to hurt you or if you had suggested or indicated that it hurts you we would have without the least hesitations amended or altered the letter but we have decided to withdraw it and our resignation on the reconsideration of the whole situation we have felt that in the all your alter rances as published in the press you have been speaking not so much on the general congress program as on a topic which has not been accepted by the congress and in doing so you have been acting more uh, as the mouthpiece of the majority minority of the our colleagues on the working committee as also the congress then the mouthpiece of the majority which we expected you as congress president to do there is regular continuation campaign against us threatening us as a person whose time is over who represent stand for ideas that are wore out and that have no present values who are only obstructing the progress of the country and who deserve to be cast out of the position which they undeservedly hold we have felt that a great injustice has been and is being done to us by others and we are not receiving the protection we are entitled from you as our colleague and as our president your sincerely rajinder prasad my dear bapu in 1936 ilaba june pipe in i arrived here last night uh, ever since i left vadra i have been feeling weak in body and troubled in mind since my return from europe i found that meeting of working committee exhaust me greatly they had a divitizing effect on me i have most the feeling of being older in years after every fresh experience i am grateful to you for all the trouble you took in the smoothly over mattering and in helping to avoid crises i read again rajinder babu letter to me the second one and his formidable indicate indictment of me for however tenderly the fact may be stated it amounts to this that i am an intolerable uh, nuisance and the very qualities i possess a measure of ability energy earnest earnestness some personality which has a verge appeal became dangerous for the are harnessed to the wrong chariot which is socialism the conclusion for all 
this is obvious i have written at strengthen both in my book and subsequently about my present ideas there is no lack of material for me to be judged those views were not casual they are part of me through i might change them or vary with in future so long as i hold them i must give expression to them because i attached importance to a large unity i try to express them in the mildest way possible and more an invitation to thought than uh, as fixed conclusion i saw so conflict in the approach and in anything that the congress was doing so far as the election were concerned i felt that my approach was definite asset to us as it enthused the masses but my approach mild and vague as it was it considered dangerous and harmful by my colleagues i was even told that my laying stress always on the poverty and unemployment in india was unwise or at any state the way i did it was wrong you told me that you intend issuing some kind of statement i shall welcome this for i believe every view point being placed before the country jawahar dear jawahar lal your letter is touching you feel the most uh, injured party the fact is that your colleagues have lacked your courage and frankness the result have been distress i have always pledged with them to speak to you freely and fearlessly but having lacked the courage whenever they have spoke they have done it clumsily and you have felt irritated i tell you they had dread you because of your irritable team and impatience with them they have chafed under your rebuckness and magisterial manner and above all arrogation of what has appeared to them your infallibility and superior knowledge they feel you have treated them with clanty courtesy and never defended them for the socialist ridicule ridicule and even misrepresentation i have looked at the whole affairs as a trangy comedy i would therefore like you to took at the whole things in a lighter vein i suggest your name for the crown of thrones presidentship of the congress keep it on through the hard head of brunished resume your humor at the committee meetings that is your not usual role not that of clear worn irritable man ready to burst on the slightest occasion how i wish you could telegraph me that on finishing my letter you felt as merry as you were on that new year's day in lahore when you were reported to have danced around the tricolor flag you must give your throat a chance bap jawahar lal nehru framing a picture autobiography similarly gave us an account of past that is often rich in human detail but there again we have to care fully of the way we read and interpret autobiographies we need to remember that they are retrospective accounts written very often from memories they tell us what the author could recollect what he or she saw as important or he keep on recounting or how a person wanted his or her life to be viewed by others writing an autobiography is a way of forming a picture of yourself 
so in reading these accounts we have to try and see what the author does not tell us we need to understand the reason for that silence through wilful or unwittingly acts of forgetting through police eye another vital source of government records for the colonial rulers kept close tabs on those they regarded as critical of the government the letters and the reports written by policemen and the other officials were secret at the time but now can be accessed in archives let us look at one of such sources the fortnightly report that were prepared by the home department from the early 20th century these reports were based on the police information from the localities but often expressed what the higher officials saw or wanted to believe while noticing these possibilities of sedition and rebellions they like to assure themselves that these fears were unwarranted if you see the fort nightingly report for the period of the salt march you will notice that the home department was unwillingly to accept that the mahatma gandhi action had invoked any enthusiastic response from the masses the march was seen as a drama an aesthetic a desperate efforts to mobilize people who were unwilling to rise against the british and were busy with their daily schedule happy under the raj source 8 fort and nightingly report of the home department confidential for the first half of the march 1930 the rapid Uh, political development in gujarat are being closely watched here to what extent and in what direction they will affect political condition in this province it is difficult to summarize at present the peasantries is for the moment engaged in harvesting a good rabi students are preoccupied and they are in pending examination central province and barar the arrest of mr ballav bhai patel caused little excitement except in congress circles but a meeting organized by the nagpur nagar congress meeting to congratulate gandhi on the start of his march was attended by a crowd of over 3000 peoples at nagpur nagpur now at maharashtra bangal the out uh, standing event of the past fortnight has been the start of gandhi's campaign of civil disobedience movement mr j m singh gupta who has formed an all bengal civil disobedience council and the bengal province shial congress committee has formed an all india bengal council of disobedience but beyond forming councils no active steps has yet been taken in the matter of civil disobedience in bengal the reports from the district show that the meetings that have been held excite little or no interest and leave no profound impression on the general population it is noticeable however the ladies are attending these meetings in increasingly number bihar and odisha there is still little to report regarding congress activity there is a good idea of talk about the campaign to ho withhold payment of the chokidari tax but no areas has yet been selected for experiment the arrest of gandhi is being foretold freely but it seems quite possible that non fulfillment of the forecast is upsetting plan madras the opening of gandhi ji is civil disobedience campaign a uh, campaign has completely overshadow all the other issue general opinion inclined to regard his march as the- uh, theoretical and his program as impracticability impractical able but as he is held in such personal uh, reverence 
by the hindu public generally the possibility of arrest which he seems deliberately to be countering and he, its effect on the political situation are viewed with considerable misgiving the 12th of march was celebrated as the day of inaugurating the civil disobedience campaign in the bombay the celebrations took the form of saluting the national flag in the morning bombay press kesari e indu gaid in offensive language and in its usual attitude of blowing hot and cold road if the government want to test the power of satyagraha both its action and inaction will cause injury to it if it arrests gandhi it will cure the discontent of the nation if it is not do that the movement of civil disobedience will go on on spreading we therefore see that if the government punishes mr gandhi the nation will have won a victory if it is let him alone it will have won a still greater victory on the other hand the moderate paper vivid viriti pointed out the futility of the movement and opened opined that it could not achieve the end in the view it however remind the government that repression would defeat its purpose for the second half of march 1930 bangal interest has continued to the center around gandhi ji's march to the sea and the arrangements which he is making to initiate a campaign of civil disobedience the extremist paper report he is doing and his speeches at the great length and make a great display of the various meetings that are being held throughout bengal and the resolution passed they are at but there is little enthusiasm for the form of civil disobedience favored by gandhi generally people are waiting to see what happens to gandhi and the probability is that if any action is taken against him a spark will be set to much inflammable material in bengal but the prospect of any serious conflagration is at present slight central province and brar in nagpur these meetings were well attended the most of the schools and colleges were deserted on the 12th march to remark the inauguration of gandhi ji's march the boycott of liquor shop and the infringement of the forest law appear to be the most profitable line of attack punjab it seem not improbable that organized attempts will be made to break the salt law in the chhelum district uh, that the agi- agitation related to the non payment of the water tax in multan will be revived and that some movements in the connection with the national flag will started probably at gujrian wala united provinces during activities has undoubtedly intensified during the last fortnight the congress party feels that it must do something spectacular to uh, sustain public interest enrollment of volunteers propagandas in village uh, villages preparation for breaking the salt law on receipt of gandhi ji's order are reported from a number of districts for the first half of april 1930 united provinces events have moved rapidly during the fortnight apart from political meeting processions and enrollment of volunteers the salt act has been opened defeat at agra campur banaras alahabad lucknow meerut raibareli फरुखाबाद इटावा बिलिया एंड मणिपुर 
Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was arrested at Chowki railway station nearly on the morning of April 14 as he was proceeding to the central provinces to attend a meeting of youth league he was at once taken direct to nini central jail where he was tried and sentenced to 6 months simple imprisonment bihar and odisha there have been or are now materializing spectacular but small scale attempts at illicit salt manufacture in a few places central provinces in jubalpur set govind das has attempted to manufacture chemical salt at a cost many times in excess of the market price of clean salt madras considerable uh, opposition was shown at bijang patnam to the police when they attempted to seize salt made by boiling sea water but elsewhere resistance to the uh, seizure of illicit salt has been half hearted bangal in the mufassal efforts has have been made to manufacture illicit salt and main operation areas being the districts of 24 parganas and the midapur very little salt has actually been manufactured and the most of it has been confiscated and the utensils in which it was was manufactured destroyed read from newspaper one more important source is a contemporary newspaper published in the english as well as in the different indian language which tracked mahatma gandhi movement and reported on his activities and also represented what ordinary indians thought of him newspaper accounts however should not be seen as unprejudged they were published by the people who had their own political opinion and world views these ideas shaped what was the published and the way events were reported the accounts that were published in a london newspaper would be different from the report in the indian nationalist newspaper mahatma gandhi within the tree of nationalism timeline 1950 mahatma gandhi returned from south africa 9 january 1950 uh, 1970 champaran movement 1980 peasants movement in kheda which is also known as kheda satyagraha and the workers movement in ahmedabad ahmedabad mill mazdoor satyagraha 1990 rollet satyagraha <coughs> anyways 13 march 1990 uh, jallianwala massacre happened uh, 1990 jallianwala massacre happened in 13 april 19 1990 1921 non cooperative movement and khilafat movement 1928 peasants movement in bardoli uh bardoli 1929 uh, basically bardoli uh, movement led by uh, sardar vallabh bhai patel and women of bardoli give uh, this sardoli title to sardar vallabh bhai patel uh, and after uh, this is led by um, led by uh, sardar vallabh bhai patel and after mahatma gandhi joined the bardoli satyagraha Uh, 1929 purn swaraj accepted as congress goals at the lahore congress december 1930 civil disobedience movement began dandi march april 19 april to uh, march to april uh, 1931 gardin union pact march mein second round table conference the only round table conference in which mahatma gandhi taken part 1935 government of india act promises some form of representative government 1939 congress ministries resign uh because of uh, because of british uh without told them the indian soldiers being part of uh, uh, world war 2 and they taken indian soldiers to uh, and send indian soldiers to pay, take part in world war 2 because of that the uh, whole indian national congress is resigned the congress ministers resigned 1942 quit india movement begins mahatma gandhi begins the quit india movement uh 1946 mahatma gandhi visit nakholi and the other right turns areas to stop the communal rights because uh, uh 
Muhammad Ali and Jinnah has launches the direct action plan to demand the separate state. simple questions understanding partition politics memories experiences this is a photo of partition we we know that the uh, joy of our country's independence from colonial rule in 1947 was tarnished by the violence and the brutality of partition the partition of british india into the sovereign states of india and pakistan within its western and eastern wings led to many sudden developments thousands of lives would stuffed out many other changes dramatically cities changes indian changes a new country was born and there was unprecedented uh, genocide violence and migration this chapter we uh, will examine the history of partition and why the why and how it happened as well as harrowing experience of ordinary people during the period of 1946 to 1950 and beyond it will also discuss how the history of these experiences can be reconstructed by taking to people and interviewing them that is through the use of oral history at same time it was point out the strengths and limitation of oral history in interviews can tell us about the certain aspects of the society past of which we may know very little or nothing from other type of sources but they may not reveal very much about many matters whose history would then needed to build from other materials we will return to this issue towards the end of chapter some partition experience gives a glimpse of violence this photograph gives a glimpse of violence there are three incidents narrated by the people who experienced those trying times to uh, researchers in 1993 the informants were pakistanis the researcher indian the job of these researchers was to understand how those who had lived more or less harmoniously for generations inflicted so much violence on each other in 1947 source one i am simply returning my father kars his debt this is what the researcher recorded during the my visit to the history department library of punjab university lahore in the winter of 1992 to the librarian abdul latif a priyod middle aged man would help me a lot he would go out of his way well beyond the call of duty to provide me the relevant material meticulously keeping photocopies requested by me ready before my arrival the following morning i found his attitude to my work so extraordinary that one day i would not help asking him latif sahib why do you go out of your way to help me so much latif sahib glanced at his watch grabbed his namazi topi and said i must go for namaz right now but i still answer your question on my return stepping into his office half an hour later he continued yes your question i i mean my father belonged to jammu to a small village in jammu district there was a hindu dominated village and the hindu refugees at the areas masquerade the helmets muslim population in august 1947 one late afternoon the hindus mobbed had been at the furious wars my father discovered he was perhaps the only muslim youth of the village left alive he had 
already lost his entire family in the butcher and was looking for a way of uh, escaping. Remembering a kind earlier Hindu lady neighboring, he implored her to save him by offering him shelter at her place. The lady agreed to help father but said, son, if you hide here, they will get both of us. Uh, this is of no use. You follow me to spot where they have piled up the dead. You lied down there as if dead and I will dump a dead body on you. Lied there among the dead son as if <coughs> dead through the night and run for your life towards seal coat at the break of dawn tomorrow. My father agreed to the proposal of they went to the spot. Father laid on the ground and the old lady dumped the number of bodies on me. An hour and so later a group of armed Hindus hoodmuns appears. One of them aid any life left in anybody and the other started. They beat their cruel staffs and guns to feel for any traces of life in that leap. Somebody shouted, there is a wrist watch on that body and hit my father finger with the butt of his rifle. Father used to tell us how difficult it was for him to outstretched palm beneath the watch he was waving and uh, so utterly still how somehow he succeeded for a few seconds until one of them said oh it's only a watch come let us leave it's getting dark unfortunately for abaji they left and my father lay there in the rich reached nest the whole night literally running for his life at the first hint of light he did not stop until he reached silkot he helped you because the hindu man helped my father i am simply returning my father curse his debt but i am not a hindu i said may is a sikh family at best a mixed hindu sikh one i do not know what your religion is with my surety you do not wear uncut here and you are not a muslim so for me you are a hindu and i told you my little bit for you because hindu man saved my father for a quite a few years now i have not met a punjabi muslim the researcher's second story is about the manager of a youth hostel in Lahore. I had gone to the hostel looking for accommodation and had prominently declared my citizenship. You are Indian so I cannot allot you a room but I can offer you tea and a story said the manager. I could not have refused such a tempting offer. The early 1950s I was posted in Delhi. The manager began I was all years. I was working uh, as a clerk at the Pakistani High Commission. There and I had been asked by a Lahori friend to deliver a ruka, a short handwritten note, to his Easternville neighbor who now resident at the Parha Gijan in Delhi. One day I rode, uh, uh, rode out on my bicycle towards Pahar Ganj and just I crossed the cathedral at the central secretariat spotting a sikh cyclist i asked him in punjabi sardarji the way to the paharganj please at are you a refugee he asked no i will come from rahul i am iqbal ahmed iqbal ahmed from rahul stop that stop sounded like a brutal order to me i instantly thought now i will i will be gone the sikh will finish me off but there was no escaping the situation so i stopped and brutally sick came running to me and gave me a mighty hug i most he gave for a quite few years now i have not met a punjabi muslim i have been longing to meet one but you cannot find punjabi speaking muslim here over 10 million people uprooted from the homelands and forced to migrate. 
due to the direct action plan launched by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. No, 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 you can never be ours. This is the third story the researchers related. I still vividly remember a man I met in Lahore in 1992. He mistook me to a Pakistani study abroad. For some reasons he liked me. He urged me to return home after completing my studies to serve the Qam nation. I told him I shall do so but at some stages in the conversation I added that my citizenship happened to be Indian. All of sudden his tone changed and much as he was restraining himself he blurted out, Oh Indians! I, I had thought you were Pakistani. I tried my best to impress upon him and I always see myself as South Asian. No, no, you can never be ours. Your peoples wipe out my entire village in 1947. We are sworn enemies and always uh, remains so. A mom momentous marker. But partition or holocaust. The natives just presented point to the pervasive violence that characterized partition. Several hundred thousands people were killed and innumerable women ab abducted. Millions were uprooted, transformed into refugees in alien land. It is impossible to arrive at any accurate estimate or casualty. Informed and scholarly guessing vary from 2 lakh to 5 lakh people in all the possibilities. Probabilities. Some 15 million had to move across hostility constructed frontiers separating India and Pakistan. As they stumbled across these shadow lines, the boundaries between the two new states were not officially known until two after formally independence. They were rendered homeless, having sudden lost all their immovable property and most of their movable assets, separately from many of their relatives and friends as well, torn asunder from their mournings, from their houses, fields, fortunes, from their childhood memories, thrust, stipend of their local or regional culture, they were forced to begin picking up their life from scratch. Was this simply a partition, a more or less orderly constitutional arrangement, an argued upon division of territory and assets, or should be called a 16 month or civil war, recognizing that there were well-organized forces on both sides and concert attempts to wipe out entire population as enemies. The saviors themselves has often spoken of 1947 through others word Masha Allah, Martial, Martial, Law, Martial Law, Mara Mari killings and the Rola Holkar disturbance, stimulant, uproar, speaking of the killing, uh, arson and the loot that constituent partition, contemporary observations and uh, scholars have sometimes used the expression holocaust as well, primarily meaning destruction or slaters on a mass scale. In this urge appropriate, you would have read about the German holocaust. Under the Nazi in the class 9th, the term holocaust is a sense capture the gravity of what happened in the subcontinent in 1947, something that the mild term partition hides. It also helped to focus on the way partition. Like the holocaust in Germany, he remembered the re <coughs> uh, referred in our contemporary concern so much. Yet, difference between the two events should not be overlooked in the 1947. The subcontinent did not witness any state-driven examination, as was the 
cars with Nazi Germany where various modern techniques of control and organization had been used. The ethnic cleansing, the characterized and the partition of India was carried out by self-studied representatives of religion communities rather than the by state agencies. The, the power of stereotypes. Indian haters in the Pakistan and Pakistan haters in India are both products of Pakistan. At times, some people mistakenly believe that the loyalty of Indian Muslims lie with Pakistan. The stereotypes of extraterritorial pan-Islamic loyalties come fused with the other highly objectionable ideas. Muslims are cruel, um, bigoted, uncleaned descendants of invaders, while Hindus are kind, liberal, pure children of the invaded. The journalist R. M. Murphy has shown that similar stereotypes pro proliferated in Pakistan. According to him, some uh, Pakistanis feel that Muslims were fair, brave, monotheist and meat-eaters, while Hindus are dark, cowdy, uh, polytheist and veg uh, vegetarians. Some of these stereotypes predated partition, but there is no doubt that, that they were immensely strengthened because of 1947. Every myth in this construction has been systematically critiqued by the historians, but in both countries, voices of haters do not mellow. Partition generated memories, hatred, stereotypes, identities uh, that still continue to shape the history of peoples on both sides of the border. These hatred have manifested themselves during the inter-community conflict and the communal clashes. In turn, they kept alive the memories of past violence. Stories of partition violence are recounted by the communal groups to depend and divide being communities, creating in the people's mind feeling of suspicious and detrust, distrust. Uh, consolidating the power of communal stereotypes, creating the deeply problematic notion that Hindus, Sikhs and Muslims are, are communities with sharply defined boundaries and the fundamentally opposed interests. The relationship between Pakistan and India has been profoundly shaped by his, this uh, legacy of partition. Perceptions of communities on both sides have been structured by the conflicting memories of those momentous times. This is the photo of 1947, all because of direct action plan by Jinnah. Why, uh, why and how did partition happen? Culminating point of long history. Some historians both Indian and uh, Pakistani suggest that Muhammad Ali Jinnah theory that the Hindus and Muslims in colonial India constituted huge separate nation can be projected back into medieval history. This emphasizes that the events of 1947 were intimately connected to the long history of Hindu-Muslim conflict throughout medieval and modern times. Such a, an argument does not recognize that the history of conflict between community uh, has coexisted with a long history of sharing and so mutual culture exchange. It also does not take into account the changing circumstances that shape people's thinking. What is the Lucknow Pact? The Lucknow Pact of December 1916 was understanding between the Congress and the Muslim League controlled by the UP-based Young Party whereby the Congress accepted separate electorate. The pact provided a joint political platform for moderate radicals and the Muslim leagues. Some scholars are partitioned as a culmination of a communal politics that started developing in the opening decades in the 20th century. They suggested that the separate electorates for Muslim 
created by the colonial government in 1999 and the expanded in 1999 minto morley and uh, uh, montenegro and clanford reform in 1919 crucially shaped the nature of communal politics separate electorate meant that muslim uh, could now elect their own representative in the designated constituency this create a temptation for politicians working within the system to use sectarian slogans and gathering a following by the disturbing favors to their own religious group religious identities thus acquire a functional use within a modern political system and the logic of electoral politics depended and hardened these identities communal identities no longer indicate simple difference in faith and belief they came to mean active opposition and the hostility between communities however while the separate electorate did have a profound impact on indian politics we should be careful not to be over emphasize their significance or to see partition as a logical outcome of their working communal identities were consolidated by a host of other developments in the early 20th century during the 1920 and 1930 tension grew around a number of issues muslim were angered by the music before mosque by the cow protection movement and by the efforts of aryan samaj to bring back the hindu fold sudhi those who had recently uh converted to jainism uh, arya samaj dayanand saraswati and brahma samaj ke san, uh, sansthapak uh, raja ram mohan roy arya samaj ke sansthapak dayanand saraswati which missions uh, before the matlab uh, uh, after before the independence uh, was to abolish sati pratha widow mein widow remarriage allow the widow uh, remarriage Uh, and abolish the child marriage uh, many things done by arya samaj whose founder is dayanand saraswati music before mosque the praying of music by the religious procession outcome a mosque at the time of namaz could lead to hindu muslim violence orthodox uh, muslims saw this as an interference in their peaceful communion with god angered by the rapid spread of uh, tablig propaganda and tamiz organization after 1923 as middle class public sheets and communal activists sought to be build greater solidarity within their communities mobilizing people against the other community right spread in the different part of the country every communal right depend differences between the communities creating disturbing memories of violence yet it would be incorrect to see partition as the outcome of the simple unfolding of the communal tension as the propagandist of uh, garm hawa a uh, film on the partition put it communal discord happening even before 1947 but it ha- had never led to the uh, uprooting of millions from their homes partition has quarterly different phenomena from earlier communal politics and to understand it we need to look carefully at the events of last decades of british rule what is communalism there are many aspect to our identity you are a girl or a boy all of you are young persons you belong to a certain village city district or state and speak certain languages you are indians but you are also world citizens income level different from family to family hence all of us belong to some special classes or others most of us have a religion and caste may play an important role in our lives in other words our identities have numerous features they are complex they are times however when the people attach degree their significance to certain chosen aspect of their identity such as religion they this is itself cannot be described as communal communalism refer to a politics that seeks to unify one community around a 
religion identify in hostility opposition to another community it is seeks to define this community identity as fundamental and fixed it attempts to consolidate these identities and present it as natural as if the people were born into the identity as if the identities do not evolve through the history over time in order to unify the community communalism suppresses distinction within the community and emphasizes the essential unity of the community against the other communities one could say communalism nurtures a politics of hatred for and identify others hindus in the case of muslim communalism the muslim in the case of hindu communalism this hatred feeded a politics of violence communalism then is a particular kind of politicians of religious identity an ideology that seeks to promote conflict between religious communities in the context of multi religious country the phrase religious uh, nationalism can done to acquire a similar meaning in such a country any attempt to see a religious community as a nation would mean showing the seed of antagonism against some other religious the provincial election of 1937 and the congress ministries in 1937 election to the provincial legislature were held for the first time only about 10 to 12% of the population enjoy the right to vote the congress did well the in the election winning the absolute majority in 5 out of when uh, provinces and the forming government in the seven of them it did badly in the consequences reserved for muslim but the muslim league also feared polling polling only the 4.4% of total muslim vote cast in this election the league failed to win a single seat in the north west frontier province and wfp and could capture only 2 out of 84 seats constituency in the punjab and they are out by 33 in sindh in the united province the muslim league wanted to form a joint government with the congress the congress did not want absolute majority in the province so it rejected the offer some scholar argue that the rejection convinced that league that if india remained united then muslim league would find it difficult to gain political power because they would remain a minority the league assume of course that only a muslim party could represent muslim interest and that the congress was essentially a hindu party but jinnah insisted that the league would be recognized as sole spokesman of muslim and could convince few at the time through popular in the united province bombay and madras social supporter for the league was still fairly weak in these uh, in three of provinces uh, from which pakistan was to be carved out of 10 years later bengal and the nwfp and the punjab even it uh, even in sindh it failed to form a government it was from the point onward that the league doubled its effort at expanding its social support the congress ministers also contributed to a widening rift in the united province party had rejected the muslim league proposal for coagulation government party before the league tended to support nandolism which the congress wished to abolish all through the party had not yet taken any concrete step in the direction nor did the congress achieve any substantial gain in the uh, in the muslim mass contact program it launched in the end the secular and the radical uh, rhetoric of the congress merely alarmed conservative muslims and the muslim landed elite without winning over the muslim masses what is hindu masaba hindu masaba founded in 1950 the hindu masaba was a hindu party that remained confined to north india it aimed to unite hindu society by encouraging the hindu to transcend the division of caste and sect it sought to define hindu identity in the opposition to muslim identity moreover by the leading congress leaders in the late 1930 instead 
मोर देन इवन बिफोर ऑन द नीड फॉर सेक्युलरिज्म दिस आइडियाज वर बाय नो मीन यूनिवर्सली शेयर्ड लोअर डाउन द पार्टी हाइयरकीज और even by the all congress ministers molana azad and important congress leaders pointed out in 1937 that members of the congress were not allowed to join the league yet congressmen were active in the hindu mahasabha at least in the central province present day madhya pradesh only in the december 1938 did the congress working party declared that congress members could not be members of the mahasabha xce incidentally uh, this was also the period when the hindu mahasabha was the rashtriya seva sangh the rss were gaining strength the latter spread from its nagpur base to the united province the punjab and the other parts of the country in the 1930 by 1940 irss had over 1 lakh trained and highly disciplined cadres pledged to an ideology of hindu nationalism convinced that india was a land of the hindus the pakistan resolution the pakistan demand war formalized gradually on the 23 march 1940 the league moved a solution demanding a measure of autonomy for the muslims majority areas of the subcontinent this ambitious resolution never marked a partition or pakistan in fact sikandar hakat ali punjab premier and the leader of unionist party who had drafted the resolution declared in a punjab assembly speech on 1 march 1941 that he was opposed to a pakistan that would mean to be muslim raj here and hindu raj elsewhere if pakistan mean unalloyed muslim raj in the pakistan then i will have nothing to do with it he reiterated his appeal for a loose united confederation with considerable autonomy for the uh, confederation uni- uh, units kabil चार बजे हाँ उल्टी हो रहा है बुखार है और शरीर में दर्द Uh, what is confederation in the modern political language it refer to as union of fairly autonomous and sovereign state with a central government with delimiting powers the name pakistan the name pakistan or pakistan from p for punjab a for afghan k for kashmir s for sindh b for uh, balochistan uh, was coined by a punjabi muslim student at cambridge choudhry rehmat ali who is the uh, pamphlet written in 1933 and 1935 dis- desired a separate national status for his u- entity no one took rehmat ali seriously in 1930 least for all the leaks and the other muslim leaks who de- 
finished his ideas merely as a student dream the origin of pakistan demand also have been traced back in the urdu poet muhammad iqbal uh, the return of sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara in his presidential address to the muslim league in 1930 the poet spoke on a need for a north west indian muslim state iqbal however was not visualize the emergence of a new country in that speech but a reco- reorganization of muslim minority muslim majority areas in north western india into a autonomous unit within a single loosely structured indian federation the sadness of partition first we will see the muslim league resolution of 1940 the league's resolution of 1940 demand that geographical constituents units are demarcated into religious regions uh, which should be so constituted constituted with such a territorial readjustment as may be necessary that the areas in which the muslims are numerical in the majority as the north west uh, and the eastern zone of india should be grouped to constituent independent state in which the constituent unit shall be autonomous and sovereign uh, the sadness of partition we have seen that the league itself was vague about its demand in 1940 there was a very short time just 7 years between the first formal articulation of the demand for a measure of autonomy for the muslim majority areas of the subcontinent and partition no one knew what the creation of pakistan meant and how it uh, might shaped people's live in the future many who migrated from their homelands in 1947 thought they would return as soon as peace prevailed again initially even muslim leaders did not seriously raise the demand for pakistan as a sovereign state in the beginning of jinnah himself may have seen the pakistan ideas as a bargaining counter useful for blocking possible british cons- consciousness to the congress and gaining additional favor for the muslim the pressure of the second world war on the british delayed negotiation for the independence for some time nonetheless it was the massive quiet india movement which started in 1942 and persisted despite intense repression and brought the british raj to its knees and compelled its official to open a dialogue with indian parties regarding a possible transfer of power post war developments when negotiation were begin again in 1945 the british argued to create an entirely indian central executive council except for the viceroy and the commander in chief of the armed forces as a primarily step towards full independence discussion about the transfer of power broken down due to jinnah unrelentingly demand that the league had an absolute right to choose all the muslim members of the executive Con- council and their should be kind of communal veto in the council
with the decision opposed by the muslim needed a two third majority given the exiting political situation the league first demand was quite extraordinary for a large section of nationalist muslim supported and the co uh, the congress it uh, de legation of this discussion was headed by molana azad and in the west punjab members of the unionist party were uh, this is a photo of mohammad ali jinnah and mahatma gandhi message greeted by mohammad ali mahatma gandhi with the mohammad ali jinnah before meeting with the viceroy in the Uh, November 1939 largely muslim the british has no intention to annoy the nationalist who still controlled by punjab government and had consequently loyal to the british provincial election were held in the 1946 the congress swept the general constituency capturing 91.3% of non muslim votes the league success in the seat reserved for muslim was equally spectacular it won all the 30 reserved constituency in the center with the 86.6% of the muslim vote and the 442 out of 509 seats in the provinces only as late as 1946 therefore did the muslim establish itself as dominant party among muslim voters seeking to vindicate its claim to be the sole spokesman of the indian muslims you will however recall that the franchisee was extremely limited about 10 to 12% of the population enjoy the right to vote in the provincial election and merely 1% in the election for the central assembly a possible alternative to the partition in the march 1946 the british cabinet sent a three member mission to uh, the examine uh, the league's demand to suggest a suitable political a uh, framework for film decade uh, basically three creeps alexander and lawrence three uh, three members the cabinet mission stored the countrymen for three months and recommended a loose three tier confederation india was remain united it was to have a weak central government controlling only foreign affairs defense communication with the exiting provincial assemblies being grouped into three sections while the electing the constituent assembly section a for the hindu minority province and the section b and c for the muslim minority majority provinces a uh, provinces of northwest and the southeast including assam respectively the section or groups of uh, provinces would compromise uh, various regional units they uh would have the power to set up intermediate level executives and legislator of their own initially all the major parties accepted this plan but the agreement was short lived because it was based on the mutual opposed interpretation of the plans the league wanted the grouping to the compulsory the section b and c developing into strong identities with the right to cedes from the union in the future the congress wanted that provinces be begin the right to join a group it was not satisfied with the mission's clarification that grouping would be compulsory <coughs> compulsory at first but provinces would have the right to opt out after the constitution had been finalized and new election held in accordance with it ultimately therefore neither the league nor the uh, congress agreed to the cabinet mission proposal uh, this uh, was a most crucial uh, john uh, structure John Sturch, because more or less inevitable, uh, with most of the Congress leaders agree to see, seeing it uh, tragical but unavoidable. Only Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan of the NWFP continue to firmly oppose the idea of partition. Picture of Mahatma Gandhi with NWFP uh, 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 Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. 
सीडेड मीन्स टू विड्रॉ फॉर्मली फ्रॉम एक्विजन और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द कैबिनेट मिशन प्रपोज एन इंडियन फेडरेशन विथ थ्री सेक्शन विच सेक्शन ए विच हिंदू मेजोरिटी एरियाज ऑफ नाइनटीन फोर्टी वन थ्री सेक्शन विच सेक्शन ए विद हिंदू मेजोरिटी एरियाज ऑफ नाइनटीन फोर्टी वन सेक्शन बी 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 विद मुस्लिम मेजोरिटी एरियाज ऑफ नाइनटीन फोर्टी वन एंड सेक्शन सी मुस्लिम मेजोरिटी एंड सेक्शन सी ब्लू प्रिंसली स्टेट नॉट स्पेसिफिकली प्रोवाइडेड फॉर प्रपोजल्स डिवाइड मुस्लिम वॉन्टेड टू पार्टीशन इंडिया इन दिस टाइप सिंपली a voice in the wilderness mahatma gandhi knew that uh, this was a voice of wilderness but he nevertheless continued to oppose the idea of partition but what a tragic change we see today i wish the day uh, may come when the hindu and muslim will do nothing without mutual consultation i am day and night dominated by the question what i can do to hasten the coming of that day i appeal to the league not to regard any indian at its enemy hindu and muslim are born of the same soil they have same blood eat and same food drink and same water and same language to speak but i am firmly convinced that the pakistan demand as put forward by the muslim league is an un-islamic and i not hesitated to call it sinful islamic stand for the unity and brotherhood of mankind not for disrupting the oneness of the human family uh, therefore those who want to divide india into possible warring groups are enemies alike of islam and india they may cut me to pieces but they cannot me to subscribe to something which i consider to be wrong rights armed with iron iron rods with the lathis on the street of calcutta in august 1946 towards partition after the with this withdrawing its power to cabinet mission plan the muslim league decided a uh, direct action for the winning its pakistan demand it announces on 16 august 1946 as direct action day on this day riots broken out in calcutta lasting several days and leaving several thousand people dead by march 1947 violence spread to many parts of north india it was in march 1947 that the congress high commands voted for diving uh, the punjab into two halves one with muslim majority and the other with the hindu and sikh majority it asked for the application for similar principle to bengal by this the congress men in punjab were convinced that the partition was a necessary evil otherwise they would be swamped by the muslim majorities and muslim leaders would dictate dictate terms in bengal to a section of bhardrok bengali hindus who uh, wanted political power to remain in with them uh, begin to uh, their demands and permanent uh, tutelage of muslim as one of their leaders put it since there were a uh, numerical minorities they felt that only a division of province could ensure their political dominance through blood shock month of 1946 the blood bath continue for about a year from march 1947 onwards one reason for this was the collapse of the institution of the governance pendrel moon an administrator serving in the bhawanpur the present day pakistan at this 
time noted how the police failed to fire even a single shot when a arson and killing were taking place in the Amritsar in March 1947. Amritsar district became the scenes of bloodshed later in the year when there was a complete breakdown of authority in the city. British officials did not know how to handle the situation. They were unwillingly to take decision and they hesitated to intervene. When panic-stricken people appealed for help, British officials asked them to contact Mahatma Gandhi, Jawahar Lal Nehru, Valla Bhai Patel or M. A. Jinnah. Nobody knew who could exercise authority and power and stop leadership of the Indian parties. Bearing Mahatma Gandhi were involved in the negotiation regarding independence, while many Indian civil servants in affiliated provinces feared for their own lives and property. The British were busy prepared to quit India. Problems were compounded because Indian soldiers and policemen came to act as Hindus, Muslims or Sikhs as communal tension mounted. The professional commitments of those in uh, uniform could not be relied upon. In many places, not only did policemen help uh, their co regionalist but they also attacked members of other communities. The one man army. Amidst all this uh, turmoil, one man's valiant efforts, all restoring communal harmony, bore fruits. The 77 year old Gandhi ji decided to take his all in his bid to vindicate his lifelong princely of non-violence and his uh, conviction that people's heart would be changed. He moved from village of Naukli in East Bengal, present-day Bangladesh, to the village of Bihar, then to riot-torn slums of Calcutta and Delhi in a heroic effort to stop Hindus and Muslims killing each other carefully everywhere to the reassure the min minority community in October 1946 Muslims in East Bengal target Hindu. Gandhiji visited the area toward the village on foot and persuaded the local Muslims to guarantee the safety of Hindu. Similarly, in other places such as he Delhi, he tried to build a spirit of mutual trust. The village of Nokli uh, for glimpse of Mahatma Gandhi. This is the village of Nokli where Mahatma Gandhi is come to stop the riots. Confidence between the two communities. A Dili uh, Muslim Shahid Ahmad Dhavari compelled to flee to a dirty overcrowded camp in Purana Kila linked Gandhiji's arrival in Delhi on the 9th September 1947 to the arrival of the rains after a particularly long and harsh summer. Dhalvi recalled in his memories how Muslims said to one another, Delhi will now be saved. On 28 November 1947, on the occasion of Guru Nanak's birthday, when Gandhiji went to address a meeting of Sikhs at the Gurdwara's Singhanj, he noticed that there was no Muslim on the Chandni Chowk Road, the heart of old Delhi. What could uh, be more shameful for us, he asked during a speech that evening, than the fact that not a single Muslim could be found in Chandni Chowk. Gandhiji continued to be in Delhi, fighting the mentality of those who wish to drive out every Muslim from the city, seeing them as Pakistani. Even when he began a fast to bring about a change of heart, amazingly, many Hindu and Sikhs migrated, fasted with them. Effect of the fast was electric, wrote Maulana Azad. People began realizing the folly of the violence they had unleashed on the city Muslims, but it was only Gandhiji metroed them that metroedom that finally ended this uh, macabre drama of violence. The world uh, virtually changed. Many Delhi Muslims of that time recalled later, generating partition, recovering women. In a last in the last decade and a half, historians have been examining the 
एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी पीपल ड्यूरिंग द पार्टीशन स्कॉलर्स हैव रिटर्न अबाउट द हॉर्विंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द वुमेन इन दोज वॉयलेंट टाइम्स वुमेन वुड एबडिकेटेड सोल्ड ऑफ एन मैनी टाइम्स ओवर फोर्स्ड टू सेटल डाउन टू अ न्यू लाइफ विद स्ट्रेंजर्स इन अनोन सर्कमस्टांसिस डीपली ट्रेमोटाइज्ड by all that they had undergone some began to develop new family bonds in their changed circumstances but the indians and pakistanis government were insensitive to the complexity of the human relationship believing that the women uh, be on the wrong side of the border they now told them away from their new relatives and sent them back to their early families or locations they did not consult the concerned women under <coughs> and demanding their uh, rights to take decision regarding their own lives according to one estimate 30000 women were recovered over 22000 muslims women in india and 8000 in hindu and six women in pakistan in an operation that ended in late 1954 what recovery uh, what recovery recovering women meant in the experience of a couple recounted by the prakash tandon in his punjabi century and autobiographical social history of colonial punjab in one instance a sikh youth who had run amok during the partition persuaded a massacring crowd to let him take away uh, a young beautiful a muslim girl they got married and slowly fall in love with each other gradually memories of her parents who had been killed and her former life faded they were happy together and the little boy was born soon however social workers and the police laboring assiduously uh, to recover abducted women began to track down the couple uh, they made inquiries in the sikh home district of jalandhar he got essence of it and the families ran away to calcutta the social workers reaches calcutta mind will the couple's friends try to obtain a stay order from the court but the law was taking its ponderous course from the calcutta the couples escaped to some obscured punjab village <coughs> hoping that the police would fail to shadow them but the police caught up uh, with them and began to question them his wife was expecting again and now nearing with her time they seek sent the little boy to his mother and took his wife to a sugar cane field he made her a comfortable at he could be a pit while he lay with a gun wa waiting for the police determining not to lose her while he was alive in the pit he delivered her with his own hands the next day he ran in high fever and in 3 days he was dead he had not uh, dared to take her to the hospital he was so afraid the social workers and the police would take her away uh, preserving honor scholars have also shown how ideas of uh, preserving communities honor came into play in this period of extreme physical and psychological danger this notion of uh, honor drew up a conception of masculinity define an ownership of zan woman and zameen land a notion of considerable antiquity in north indian peasant societies variety it is believed lay in the ability to protect your uh, possessions zan and zameen from being appropriated by the outsiders and the quite frequent conflict ensued over these two primes possessions often enough women internalizing the same values at times therefore when the men feared that they are <coughs> women's wives daughters sisters would be violated by the enemy they killed by the women themselves urvashi botalia in her book the outer side of silence narrated one such glorious gurius some incident in the village of towa khalsa 
ट्रैवल पिंडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ड्यूरिंग दी पार्टीशन इन दी सिख विलेज 90 वुमेंस आर सेड टू हैव दी वॉलेंटरी जंप इनटू अ वेल रादर देन फॉल इनटू एनिमीज एंड दी माइग्रेट रेफ्यूजीज फ्रॉम दिस विलेज स्टिल अकोमेंडेटेड दी इवेंट एट गुरुद्वाराज इन न्यू दिल्ली रेफरिंग टू दी डेथ्स एज मैटरडम नॉट सुसाइड दे बिलीव दैट मैंस एट दैट टाइम हैव करेजलेसली एक्सेप्ट द डिसीजन ऑफ वुमेन एंड इन सम केसेस इवन दी परसुएट दी वुमेन टू किल देमसेल्फ इन दी थर्टीन मार्च एवरी ईयर वेन दे आर मैटरडम इज सेलिब्रेटेड द इंसिडेंट इज रिकाउंटेड एज ऑडियंस ऑफ मैन वुमेन एंड द चिल्ड्रन वुमेन आर एक्सहॉर्टेड टू remember the sacrifice and bravery of their sisters and to cast themselves in the same mould for community of savior the remembrance ritual helps keep the memory alive what such rituals do not seek to remember however are the stories of all those who did not wish to die and had to end their lives against their will regional variation the experience of ordinary people we have been uh, discussing so far related to the north western part of the subcontinent what was the partition like in the bengal uttar pradesh bihar central india and the dakkan while carnage occur in the calcutta and nokli in 1946 the partitions was most bloody and destructive in the punjab the near total displacement of hindu sikhs eastern wards into india india from the west punjab and of all most punjabi speaking muslims to pakistan happens in the relatively short period of two Mus- two years between 1946 and 1948 many muslims families of uttar pradesh bihar madhya pradesh hyderabad in andhra pradesh centrated but was the anglizing furthermore unlike the punjab the change of population in bengal was not near total many bengali hindus remain the east pakistan while the many bengali muslim continue to live in west bengal finally bengali muslims east pakistanis rejected jinnah's two nation theory through the political action breaking away from pakistan and recreating bangladesh in 1971 1972 a common religion uh, could not hold east and west pakistan together this is however a huge similarity between punjab and the bengal provinces in both these states women and girls became prime targets of persecuted uh, attackers traitors women's bodies as tri- uh, territory to be conquered dishonoring women of a community was seen as the dishonoring the community itself and made a talking revenge fiction poetry films are you familiar with the any short story novel poem or films about partition more often than not partition literature and films represent this kata cosmic event in the more significant ways than do not work of historians they seek to understand mass suffering and pain by focusing on individual protagonist or small groups of ordinary people those destinies were shaped by a big events over which they seemed to have no control they recorded an anguish and ambiguistic of the times the incomprehensible choices Uh, that many were confronted with they registered a sense of shock and bewilderment uh, at the scale the magnitude of violence at human basement and depravity they also speak of hope and of the ways in which people overcome adversity sadat hasan mantu a particularly gifted urdu short story writer uh, has Uh, these to say about this work for a long time i refused to accept the consequences of the revolution which was set off by the partition of the country i still feel the same way but i suppose in the end i came to accept this nightmarish reality without self purity or despair in the process i tried to retrieve from this man made sea of blood pearl of red hue by writing about the single minded dedication with which man had killed men 
uh, about the remorse felt by some of them about the tears shed by the murderers who uh, could not understand why they still had uh, some human feelings left all this uh, and more i put in the book shian asli black margins partition literature and film exist in many languages notably in hindi urdu punjabi sindhi bengali assami and english you may want to read writers such as manto Ra- rajinder singh bedi uh, intezar hussain urdu bisham sanai hindi kamleshwar hindi rahi masoom raza hindi narayan bharti sindhi sant singh sikhom punjabi narendranath mitra बंगाली सैयद वाली मुल्ला बंगाली लालित बिका अंथर जिनमा मलयालम अमिताभ घोष इंग्लिश वापसी सिंधवा इंग्लिश अमृता प्रथम फर्ज अहमद फैज एंड द दिनेश दास हैव रिटन मेमोरेबल पोयम्स ऑन द पार्टीशन इन पंजाब उर्दू एंड बंगाली रिस्पेक्टिवली यू मे ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू सी फिल्म्स डायरेक्टेड बाय ऋत्विक गायक मेघे धक्का तारा सब्र नार सब्र नारेखा एम एस राथू गरम हवा गोविंद नीलायन तमाशा एंड अपले जिस लाहौर नायक व्या ओ जमाए नाय ही वन ही हु हैज नॉट सीन लाहौर हैज नॉट सीन बॉर्न हैज नॉट बीन बॉर्न डायरेक्टेड बाय हबीब तनवीर help humanity harmony brood under the debris of the violence and the plains uh, pains of partition in numerous histories of help humanity and harmony many narrative such as abdul latif's prograte testimony which with which we begin rival these historians have discovered numerous stories of people how help each other during the partition period stories of caring and sharing uh, of opening a new opportunities of the triumph over trauma considered for instance the work of khush deva singh a sikh doctor specializing in the treatment of tuberculosis posted at a dharampura in present day himachal imphala imar um, imarzing himself in his uh, work day and night the doctor provided the at rare healing touch food shelter love and security to the numerous migrants muslim sikhs hindus alike the residents of dharampur uh, developed the kind of faith and confidence in the humanity and generosity that the delhi muslims and the other had in gandhi ji one of them uh, mohammad umar wrote in the khusha uh, deva sing with great humanity i beg you to state that i do not feel myself safe except under your protection therefore in all kindness be good enough to grant me a seat in your hospital we know about the cruel relief work of this doctors from a memory he entitled love in strong hit and hate a remembrance of 1947 here singh describes his work as humble efforts i made to discharge my duty as human being to be followed human beings he speak most warmly of the two shots visit to karachi in 1949 old friends and those whom he had helped in dharampura spent a few memorable hours with them at karachi airport six policemen constables earlier acquaintances walked uh, him to the plane saluting him as he entered it i acknowledged the salute with the folded hands and tears in my eyes oral testimonies and the stories have you taken note of materials from which the story of partition has been constructed in the chapter oral narratives memories diaries families stories first hand written accounts all this helps us understand the trial of uh, tribunalization of ordinary 
people during the partition of the country million of people viewed partition in the terms of suffering and the challenges of, of the times for them it was no more constitutional division or just the party politics of the muslim league congress and the others for them it meant the unexpected alteration in the life as it is unfolded between 1946 and 1950 and beyond requiring psychological emotion and the social adjustment as with the holocaust in germany we uh, should understand partition not simple as political event but also uh, through the meaningly attached to it by those who live it memories and experience shape the reality of an event one of the strength of a, pro, a personal reminiscence one type of oral source is that it help up grape experience and memories in detail it enable historians to write richly textures vivid accounts of what happened to the people during event such as partition it is impossible to extract this kinds of information from government documents the letter deal with the policy and the party matters and the various state sponsored scheme in the case of partition government reports and files as well as personal writing of its high level functionaries through ample light on negotiation between the british and the major people political parties about the future of india or on the rehabilitation of refugees they tell us little however about the day to day experience with the those effects of government decision to uh, divide the country older history also allow historian to broken the boundaries of their discipline by rescuing from oblivion and lived experience of the poor and the powerless those of, of say abdul latif fa thief's father the woman of thowa khalsa the refugee who retained wheat at wholesale prices eking uh, out a uh, paltry living by selling a uh, guns uni bags in which the wheat came a middle class bengali widow bent double over road lying work in bihar a peshwari trader who uh, thought it was wonderful to land a pity job in kata upon the migrating to last but ask where is katak is it on the upper side of hindustan or lower we haven't quite heard of it before the peshwar thus moving beyond the action of the well uh, of and the well known the oral history of partition has succeeded in exploring the experience of those men and women who whose existence and hit hap pro to being ignored taken for granted or mentioned only in the passing in mainstream history this is the significant uh, because the histories that we read often regarded the life and work of mass of the peoples in the past as inaccessible or unimportant yet many historians still remain as patrical or older history they dis de, uh, dismiss it oral uh, data seem to lack uh, concreteness and the chronological they yield may be imprecise historians argue that uniqueness of the personal experience make generalization difficult a large picture uh, cannot be built from such micro evidence and one witness is no witness the also think oral accountants and the concerned with the technological issue and that the small individual experience what remains the memory and the irrelevant to the unfolding of a large process of history however the regard to the event such as partition of india and the holocaust in germany there is no dearth of testimony testimony about the different form of distress and the numerous people faced so there is there is ample evidence to figure out trend to point out exceptions by comparing statements oral or written by corroborating what the yields 
yield what findings from the other sources and by being vigilant about the internal contradiction historians can weigh their reliability of giving piece of evidence furthermore if the history has to accord presents to the ordinary and the powerless the older history of partition is not concerned with the technological matters the experience it relates are central to the story so much so that oral sources should be used to check other sources and vice versa different type of sources have to be tapped for answering different types of question government report for instance well tell us for the number of recovered men exchanged by the indian and pakistani state but it is a woman who uh, will tell us about their suffering suffering in 1930 the urdu poet mohammad iqbal speak of need for north west indian muslim state as autonomous unite within a single loose indian federation 1933 the name pakistan or pakistan is coined by the punjabi muslim student at cambridge choudhry rehmat ali mohammad iqbal and choudhry rehmat ali on 1937 congress minister came to power in seven out of 11 provinces of british india 1940 the muslim league moves a resolution at lahore demanding a measure of autonomy for the muslim majority area 1946 election are held in the provinces the congress wins massive in the general constitu- constituency the league success in the muslim seats is equally spectacular march to june the british cabinet sent a three members cabinet mission to delhi august the muslim league decided on the direct action for uh, 16 august 1946 uh, for winning pakistan uh, august 16 august violence break out between hindu sikhs muslims in calcutta lasting several days and leaving several thousands people dead march 1947 congress high commission vote for demanding the punjab into muslim majority and hindu sikh majority halves and ask for application of a similar principle to bengal Uh, the british began to quit india 14 15 august 1947 P- uh, punjab is uh, pakistan is form india gain independence mahatma gandhi toward nokli in east bengal to restore communal harmony 14 to 15 august 1947 what shameful work done by mohammad ali jinnah mm-hmm. give us more idea about in 16 august 1946 direct action plan launched by mohammad ali jinnah and in uh, 14 to 15 august 1947 mahatma gandhi visited nokli in uh, eastern nokli in east bengal to restore now uh, west bengal f- and uh, west bengal and east bengal west bengal is a part of india and east bengal is also known as bangladesh uh, for, uh, who give a uh, pakistan mohammad iqbal and rehmat ali and in 1940 40 muslim league demanded for a autonomous state named as pakistan
Why was British India participate uh, partitioned? Why did women experience? How did women experience partition? How did Congress came to change its view on partition? On on an outline map of South Asia marked out the section A B C of Cabinet Mission Proposal. How it's different from the political map of present. the south asia farming the constitution about farming the constitution we discuss we will constitution we will discuss the we will discuss the framing of constitution tomorrow thank you